Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm the Science Educator for Children's Museum Houston. We are tucked away in our exhibit, How Does It Work? And today we are gonna cover the three R's, specifically looking into all the plastics that we see and use every day. And so the first one is reduce. And so that's actually pretty simple. That would be instead of using two bottles, you would just use one. And that ties us right into reuse, which some things are better to reuse, like this plastic bottle than this plastic bottle. And we'll learn a little bit more about which is which and what that plastic is in just a second, because we're gonna go through each of the seven plastic numbers to see which ones are recyclable, which ones aren't, and I'm gonna show you how to figure out what number it is. So let's get started. For each plastic type, there's a note card in front that has the plastics acronym and the associated number. So for polyethylene terephthalate, we'll find out if it's recyclable or not. And that answer is on the back of each card. So yes, plastics number one is recyclable. And so that's commonly your single use water bottles, which you should definitely recycle, some soap bottles, and then also peanut butter jars. For our second plastic, high density polyethylene, is it recyclable? Yes, it is. So this is a more rigid plastic commonly found in milk jugs, juice bottles, and a lot of times it's lids. You'll see that a lot. And what is really cool is it's everything is labeled. So you can see the number and then you can see whether it's recyclable or not. For our third plastic, polyvinyl chloride or PVC is, well, no, but kinda. So they're not usually recyclable and you just have to check with your local recycling company. But this includes PVC piping, some toys, house flooring, and house siding as well. For our fourth plastic, low density polyethylene, it is recyclable. So this is your bread bags, and also there are some more rigid bottles that are made out of low density polyethylene. So then we have our polypropylene and it is recyclable. And so these are a little more flexible and durable and heat resistant. And this includes some lids, yogurt tubs, and even bottle caps. For our number six plastic or polystyrene, it's not recyclable. So this includes disposable cups and plates, egg cartons, CD cases, and some bottles as well. Then our plastics number seven is kind of a catch-all. This includes a lot of different plastics, which a lot of them are recyclable. So like nylon and polycarbonate are recyclable. And so what's kind of lumped in here is CDs have plastics number seven, some Lego blocks, and also a reusable water bottle can also contain plastics from this grouping. So check out all the plastics around your house to see whether you can recycle it or not. Thank you for tuning in to today's Educator Moment where we learned about reducing, reusing, and recycling different types of plastics. If you guys are following us through YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. And my name is John, coming to you from Children's Museum Houston, and we'll see you next time.